This is absolutely the best method you will ever find on the internet how to seamlessly transfer file from your Android phone to your PC and from your PC to your Android phone for free. There is nothing I have personally not tried to solve this problem for myself but yesterday by try and error I stumbled upon this solution that I'm about to show to you. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. All you need is your PC, no extra software and your Android phone with the Explorer app. You can download it from Play Store or from the link in the description. Once you have that installed, we cannot dive right into the tutorial proper. So now all you need to do is to open the Explorer app. Once you have it like this, in case you're not seeing this extra part here, you can click on this bottom part that says show. And you're going to just check all this, okay? Just check. But the one I want you to really check is this Wi-Fi file sharing, okay? Just click on it and let it check and you have it right here this one right here okay what you need to do is to click on it but before you click on it make sure that your hotspot is on put on your hotspot and come here and click on this button here and that's when it's going to be on if your hotspot is not on there is no way it's going to be on so make sure your hotspot is on so now you see this number here this http so all you need to do now is to come to your file on your pc your file explorer and once your file explorer is open come to this part here where you can enter the location icon then type in these words okay that's http http okay once you type it make sure that it's correct and just cross check before you hit the enter key and once you've confirmed that it's correct all you need to do now is to click the enter key and this is just going to open your chrome browser and the page is going to open now you have your file here you can see it's very simple okay very very simple in order to make this work let me just show you an example before i show you how to make it permanent so that next time you, you don't need to go through this whole process anymore um uh, we're just going to minimize let me close this let's minimize so that we have it by the side so let's just look for a file on our pc and drag in okay let me go to my download Okay, this is a picture. I just want to drag now. I just want to drag it in here now. Okay, I'm dragging it into this folder called picture. Okay. And I can go inside this picture and I, I'm going to find it. Now we have it here. Very simple, very simple to use. Okay, I know you didn't notice it, but let me see. Let me create a new folder. Let me go back. Create a new folder. I can create a new folder. Anything I want to do. Okay, let's call this one transfer and just click OK and let's scroll to see we can find your transfer okay here's the transfer okay right here so let me go back and just drag in let me just drag these files okay okay let me just drag this three we can drag now okay and just drop it okay it's going to take a few seconds now we have it now it's in my phone without stress so in order to bring any file from my phone to my desktop all i just need to do is click on the file and here we can just click on download and it's just going to download like normal regular file okay this is without internet connection so you don't need to even be scared or something so you just need to click on the file and just make sure it's open and just click on download okay this is very easy okay so you can even do this for folders, okay? You can download it as zip. So once once you are here on the folder, let me see. Let me go to the transfer folder that I created before. So you can come here and I say download as zip, okay? It's going to zip up the file and it's going to transfer it into your... You can see that it's asking you um, secure download blocked. So you can come here and say... Um, download insecure file because it's not actually insecure it's just your system and your phone okay so you can download it now you can open it and unzip it and you have everything so you can and it's very fast okay no delay no time so in order to make this more permanent in your phone all you need to do now is to come to this um hamburger menu and come to save and share and you say create shortcut okay create shortcut okay click on it and it's going to ask you um, what's the name you want to call it and say um, open as a window whenever you open it and just say create okay 
So now you have the shortcut. Then this pop-up is going to come up. This is the most important part. So you just click on yes. What it's going to do that is going to add a shortcut to your desktop. Okay, we have it right here now. So we're going to close this so that we can see how this whole thing work. Okay, I've closed my um, Chrome browser. I'm not connected. So I'm, on my phone here, I'm just going to stop transferring by clicking on this and it's disabled. Okay, so what happens now is that my Wi-Fi of my laptop is still connected to my phone. Okay. Now, what I need to do now is to put on my server here. Once it's connected, all I need to do now, since we have the shortcut here and this shortcut here, I don't know why it's showing the symbol, but this is it here. All I need to do now is to come here and just double click on it. And viola, the page is going to open. Now, this is going to be just the way it's going to be working from now on. So you don't need to connect next time. All you just need to do is to come here on your server and you are good to go and just in case you are having difficulty in connecting maybe showing something like read access memory only all you can do is come here and click on the server and have this checked okay turn on auto start to wi-fi sharing this one here make sure it's on and read access memory just turn it off okay just leave everything else the same and you are good to go so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you find it helpful i'm excited about this one and if this is your first time please consider subscribing if you find it helpful please leave a like drop a comment in the comment section so i can know how helpful it was if it wasn't also let me know um like i said the file explorer app is in the description you can download it and that brings us to the end so see you in the next video bye